Before you start playing Ark on a local or non-dedicated world with friends, it's important to have good settings to make the game a better experience for yourself than it otherwise would be. If you're like me, you don't have the time to commit yourself to 8-hour shifts on servers to make sure you aren't constantly getting wiped. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you the settings that I use on all of my local worlds and private servers that I use with my friends. Before starting at the top, we want to make sure we're on default settings, so go ahead and spam this button so that way you can set yourself to default. Now that we've done that, we can start with the difficulty level. We want to slide this all the way to the right to 1.0. Difficulty is actually backwards in this game, with higher values making the game easier because higher level dinos will spawn. The higher level dinos that spawn, the better your tames will be and the easier it will be to go through the game. Then we can skip all these other sliders and go down to the XP multiplier, which we are going to change to 1.5 because we will be unticking a specific box later on. Then bump the taming up to 12.5 by manually typing it in the box. This still makes taming important stronger dinos a bit of a process, just not an 8 hour one. After that, go ahead and bump the harvest rate up to 2.0. You'll still have to make an effort farming materials, it just won't be for the entire duration of your session. This next slider only applies if you're playing a non-dedicated session with a few friends. What this slider determines is how far away from the host player that the other players can wander off to, with the exception of going into differently rendered areas such as caves. 100 is the value i found to make the game not glitchy, but still allow all your friends to traverse essentially the entire map without you. Now we've made it onto our first checkboxes. We can ignore most of these and head straight down to PvE mode, and check this. This box disables the cryopod cooldown timer, which really isn't necessary for private servers or single player. If you're watching this video, odds are you're also fairly new to ARC, and you should enable show player map location. It will make exploring and learning the maps a lot easier. Next, we want to check the maximum difficulty box. This is kind of insurance over the difficulty slider to make sure our max level dinos are indeed 150, with the exception of wyverns and rock drakes or any other unique creatures like that, which have a max of 190. 150 is the official max for dinos, and I find it makes the most balanced gameplay. This next box is arguably one of the most important. I know this is a single player settings video, but we want to untick this box. Single player settings makes the game way too easy. It insanely buffs the amount of health and damage that your dinos will gain per level. With this box ticked, a few random level 70 rexes with a few levels will be strong enough to kill bosses. And me personally, I find that way too easy. If you want to check this box for an easier experience, that's fine. Just know that all the other settings in this video won't be balanced with that checkbox. We also want to check these next three boxes, disable structure placement collision, allow multiple platform floors, and allow unlimited respecs. That's it for the general tab, now we can move on to even more sliders and boxes in the advanced tab. Opening the advanced tab, we start with some check boxes. The only two we want to turn on are the allow cave building PVE and allow flyer carry PVE boxes. Then we can skip all these sliders and go to some more boxes, where we want to tick non-permanent diseases and override structure platform prevention. Again, we will pass sliders and not touch any of them moving into the world settings. First, we will tick the allow anyone baby imprint cuddle box so your friends can help raise your babies and you can help raise theirs. These sliders took me a while to find a good rate for, but I think I got some good ones. We will lower the mating interval down to 0.005 and bump the egg hatch speed up to 50. Normally, it takes dinos forever to grow up, so we will bump up the baby mature speed to 130. We need them to mature as if their dads left to get milk when they were 11. Next, lower the resource respawn period down to 0.5. There's a bug in single player where resource nodes won't respawn if they're destroyed while the player logs off. I still don't know if this bug is fixed or not, probably not knowing ARC, so we're going to act as if it's still broken. Finally, the last slider in the section we will change is the baby cuddle interval multiplier, which we will also lower to 0.005. After we've done that, we can scroll for a bit all the way down to the miscellaneous settings. Here we will check the flyer platform unaligned basing, passive death hurt riderless dinos, show floating damage text, and allow raid dino feeding. And finally, the last thing we've touched before we jump in and start playing is the raid dino food drain multiplier, which we will lower to 0.001. That's it! Of course, this is Ark, an open world survival game that you should modify to play however you like the best. These are just the settings that I use and find to be the most enjoyable. So take all of this with a grain of salt and feel free to adjust any settings however you would like. P.S. I also like to add in the Structures Plus mod and the Ultra Stacks mod. Good luck, survivors. Now that we've made it through the video, I'd like to take this time to shamelessly promote that I do stream over on Twitch.
We have a great community that we always invite to play all sorts of different games with us. It doesn't matter how good or bad you are, whether it's Rocket League or Minecraft. We play all sorts of different games, and we always have a blast. Oh my god. Even with the random shenanigans that tend to happen. So if you're looking to make new friends or have new people to play games with, feel free to tune into a stream over on Twitch or join the Discord down below. I'll see you there.